Good evening. I have to apologize for not making a video yesterday evening. This has ended up being a wild week. Um, I hope you are all doing okay tonight. It is a chilly Tuesday night. It is snowing here in Bluefield. It is the last day of March. Um, so since it is the last day of March, I had to um, end the month by reading Your Girl the Turtle by Dr. Seuss. Um, I'm so thankful that I got to read so many of our Dr. Seuss books with you in class because we ended up being home the rest of the month, so there were a lot of books we didn't get to read, um, but I definitely did get to share with you my favorites. Um, so, wherever you are tonight, just get a seat and cuddle up with whoever's at home and listen along with me. <clears throat> On the faraway island of Salamasand, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond, it was clean, it was neat, the water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see. But I don't see enough, that's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sat on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could set high, how much greater I'd be. What a king, I'd be ruler of all I could see. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view, he could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried, all the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, a marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And all through the morning he sat there up high, saying over and over, A great king am I. Until long about noon, then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king. And he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. Just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up, and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, the king of the turtles barked back. I'm king, and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and roll. I'm king of a cow, and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a horse and a bush and a cat, but that isn't all, I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered, so pile up more turtles, I want about two hundred. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they come swimming by dozens. Whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see forty miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Girdle, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, and I'm king of the bees, I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, a marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Then 
Then again from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your Majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it, our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food, we are starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I roll from the clouds over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise. Up over his head in the darkening skies, What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can, be, I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. But as Yertle the turtle king lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he had taken enough, and he had, and that plain little turtle lay, lad got a little bit mad, and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For Yertle the king of all of Salamasan fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today, the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud, that is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, and turtles, and maybe all creatures should be. I love that story. That is so good. Uh, there's a few more stories in this book. I will continue this week finishing those up. I hope you guys have a really good night. Sweet, sleep well. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.